Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California for our main event of the evening. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the welterweight division between Julio Cesar Chavez and the Pac-Man Manny Pacquiao. Julio Cesar Chavez is now making his way to the ring and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Manny Pacquiao is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao! All right, guys, listen up. Let's have a good, clean fight. All right, touch him up. Let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance what do we look for early you know I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area who uses their jab a little bit steadier Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Good solid double jab by Julio Cesar Chavez. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Halfway through this round here. Manny Pacquiao started at 106 pounds, and then rose up and won a super bantamweight belt, but it really wasn't until November of 2003 when he claimed the featherweight title and TKOing Marco Antonio Barrera that he became that big spotlight kind of star. And that was his coming out party, so to speak. That's when the world found out just who and what Manny Pacquiao was. Manny Pacquiao swelling is exactly what his opponent wanted to see. <laughs> Chavez's swelling is starting to become a real issue. Able to dismiss it. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Step up with a jab. Then come back and show them what you do. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You need to double up. Here we go. Round two is underway.
Manny Pacquiao's got to deal with a cut now above his eye. Teddy, little Chavez trivia. He holds the record for the most... Oh, that's got to hurt. Chavez is stunned, and he is hurt. Come on, guys. Punch it out. Punch it out. No holding. Oh, what a great ability to recover. all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same thing here. You got to get to the side before the swelling's there. You got to put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. And Chavez able to get rid of that punch from his opponent. Stating blow by Julio Cesar Chavez. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Manny Pacquiao. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Chavez is doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now it's got to be all battle trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. Chavez has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Teddy, Manny Pacquiao has many highlights in his career, but one of the things that I think when all is said and done on Manny Pacquiao that will be remembered for is his ability to take out the Mexican legends. Barrera, Morales, he's done it well. Yeah, he has done it well. And where he's done it is a mixture of power that those fighters had, but also speed. Manny Pacquiao brings speed to the game. A penetrating hook to the body by Manny Pacquiao. He got 
got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Blocks the headshot. Manny Pacquiao's got to deal with a cut cheek. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Julio Cesar Chavez. And a good counter by Chavez. Julio Cesar Chavez's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it. He's gotten it. Last 10 seconds. Oh! Chavez's legs look shaky. He was hurt. I want you to pick his jab. Throws the jab, carry it away, and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. Cuts nothing. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of the cut. It's nothing. A small cut, nothing. Don't worry about it. The spelling is nothing. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one sided. He was hit pretty hard. And now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Chavez's eye to me is getting worse as things continue on here. Teddy, he's got to be very conscious of that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, and his corner has to be too. They got to be thinking about if it gets to the point where he can't defend himself, they have to do something. Obviously, they didn't come here thinking they were going to have to do. Stop this fight. What does a fighter need to do to really build a foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn and to burn later on. Maybe something happened to them in their life. Maybe through their parents, maybe through neighbors, maybe through coaches. Somebody told them they were never going to make it. And they go in their mind that they're going to find a way to make those people wrong. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good scoring counter punch by Chavez. Good looking counter punch. out really well throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that <laughs> Manny Pacquiao has got to figure out now Teddy a way to properly defend himself with that swollen eye yeah he has to understand what side that he can't defend from where the punches could come and not give his opponent that side make sure that he moves to the certain kind of way in the ring where he keeps his opponent away from that bad eye Moves him towards the good eye. Gives him the best shot. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Chavez. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Well targeted counter punch by Chavez.
has arrived. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Chavez. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Counter punch by Chavez. Chavez is making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent knew this was coming. He knew he was going to fight on the outside, but the jab is really doing damage. Well, his opponent knew this was coming. Why is he not blocking that jab or moving his head and getting away from it? Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Chavez has got to find a way to protect that eye. The cut has worsened. And if it gets any worse, you got to think this fight is coming. Oh, Manny Pacquiao stunned and staggered. Keep busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Well, this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it because it's nothing. A small cut, nothing to worry about. This is nice. Nice. Keep it up, this guy never felt sleeping like this. Keep the pressure up. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Now, this is a very exciting fight. It's been evenly fought. But it just has the feel of a fight that's going to go the distance. It doesn't look like any one guy is going to take control over the other. No, when somebody makes up their mind, I am not being knocked out. I am staying. They usually stay. These guys are here for the night. That was not well targeted by Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez is employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is, and that is one of the facets. The other is to block, the other is to move your head. 
and right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Halfway through this round here. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Very nice job landing that counter punch. Getting away from one that was coming at him. Manny Pacquiao is dealing with the aftermath of being rocked. But yet, he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Excellent counter punch by Chavez. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Good looking counter punch. Ten seconds to go in this round. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll take care of the cut. There's nothing, a small cut, nothing to worry about. Get on that. Get on that. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Chavez has got a real problem and he knows it because that eye is worsening and if it seals all the way shut, if it's swollen that badly, we could see a stoppage in this fight. Yes, we can. And right now what should be seen is... Oh! Chavez is stunned and he is hurt. Come on, guys, keep it apart. Punch it up. Come on, punch it up. How about a return to sender with the left hand? <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. <laughs> Able to dismiss it. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Blocks away that headshot. Manny Pacquiao is now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times. And that is, how do you deal with seeing your own blood, 
and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage. Look at that cut around the eye. No, for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your blood, how do you behave? We're going to find out right now. Nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Chavez has got to be really careful here, Teddy. That eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And that's what the referee's going to be looking for. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Manny Pacquiao's just not landing any body punches in this fight. Oh, and there you go. Manny Pacquiao stunned, and he is hurt. Wow, crushing blow upstairs. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wishes, and it's too late for it because he wasn't taught, but he wishes he was a guy who was taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. Right now, his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his... Oh! Chavez is almost out of it there. He was stunned. So far tonight, he Come was being now, completely outworked, but now we see him being more the aggressor. Oh, was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. And now you can see some blood coming from the nose of Julio Cesar Chavez. <laughs> End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. 
You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Get the complex on so here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can show a little of the clock survive. Manny Pacquiao is just not himself right now. He went down, and since then, he's just kind of been lingering during this fight. Not fully engaged in it, just existing. Exactly, because he remembers that he got caught, and he doesn't want to revisit that place. What he needs to do is correct why he got caught and get back to being a fighter. A guy who lets his hands go. Good block by Chavez. Chavez is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecard. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his piece of cues. A sound combination by Chavez. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle, it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see, just great action. Now it's unbelievable, I mean if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart. You come to this fight, you stay right here. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Parries that punch intended for the head. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. A barrage of punches now. 
job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Chavez. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good block by Julio Cesar Chavez. He missed with that head shot. Chavez blocks that punch. Chavez has got a way of just getting away from that punch. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. A headshot blocked. Manny Pacquiao blocks that punch. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. So it's the end of the round. And as both men head back to their respective corners, Teddy, it uh, brings up a good point that's many times not talked enough, but the culture of a corner and how guys conduct themselves, what was always your philosophy in organizing and running a corner? Well, first of all, only one guy could be in charge. That's the trainer. You can't have uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. It has to be organized like anything else. And you have to have calm people. You only have one minute. Maybe by the time the fighter gets back, maybe it's 50 seconds. So you have to be efficient. You can't have guys that are excited. They have to be able to control their emotions just like the fighter does on the outside. And everyone has to know what their job is. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Julio Cesar Chavez. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Julio Cesar Chavez. mind at this stage of a fight where I think you can clearly see that he's tired well you know that's the right question not enough is going through his mind he's not concentrating not concentrating on the things that he was earlier not remembering what it is that he has to be doing at all times Shots with his defense up top. Sixty seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round! Pacquiao with a good block there. A shot 
but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Last round. This is it, last round. Finish this smartly, okay? Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it because it's nothing. It's all got nothing to worry about. 12th and final round. Protecting his head well with his guard. Not able to land the headshot. Oh boy, look at this. Right from the get-go, they go after one another. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Chavez is going to have his hand raised by way of KO. The 10 count reached his opponent out. He's the victor. Julio Cesar Chavez is your winner by knockout. Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining.